As the author states in his article, In one season, he says, I've seen three people fall off ladders, carelessly set up against their boats. One of them was laid up for three months. And it can happen to you, for the ordinary boatyard ladder is a rickety thing, narrow at base and top. The ground on which the ladder is set is often soft, as is the ladder from being out in the weather. One side of the ladder sinks in, the top slides off the rail just as you're climbing aboard with one hand full of paint cans, sandpaper and brushes. But in an hour you can build a proper ladder. Do it as your first job in the season, for you'll be getting off and on your boat a couple of hundred times in the course of fitting out and laying up. Depending on whether it's a power boat or a sailboat, the deck will be from 6 to 10 feet off the ground. He says, I copied the wide legs of the ladder shown in the picture from orchard ladders that also have to stand on uneven ground while people work from them using both hands. Use 2x4s for the upright legs, 2x3s for the slats. Use galvanized nails before you'll be leaving it out in the weather. Dose it with cuprinol or other wood preservative and paint your ship's name on it for everyone will want to steal it. Pad the top where it rests against the rail with 6 inches of inner tube rubber or cloth and it won't slip or mar up the rail. I would not use the cloth, I would only use rubber. As I said, uh, I would not use cloth for padding the top. I want to use rubber, it's real sticky here. Also, I don't like the idea of nails, even galvanized. I use deck screws, and they're much more secure. Also, I don't make my uh, uh, ladders wide at the top, bottom and narrow at the top. I like to make them 18 inches wide all the way up. Also, uh, perhaps most important here is I would not just nail the or, or screw the, surf the rungs onto the surface of the 2x4s. I'd dater them uh, into the 2x4 and that's going to be much better.